Hey guys, welcome to Morgan's Tech, and today we are going to be taking a look at how to set up the TLWA80 1ND Wireless N Access Point from TP-Link. Alrighty folks, let's take a look at what you get inside the box when you first open it up. The first thing you will get is the device itself and a wonderful camera lighting change right there. You'll also get an included Ethernet cable. To my knowledge, that is a Cat5 Ethernet cable, if that matters to you. You get a power over Ethernet injector to power the device if you don't have an outlet nearby. And if you do, you have this nifty little AC adapter. Along with that, you will also get two long-range antennas that are detachable in the event that you'd like to upgrade. And finally, you get an instruction manual, instruction disc, and a box. Alright, the next step is to assemble the device. For device assembly, there is not that much to it. Just keep the antennas straight while screwing them in uh, to make it easier on yourself before bending them upwards. If you bend them upwards beforehand, you'll have a heck of a time trying to screw them in. Once they're screwed in, that's pretty much all there is for the device setup. You can bend them upward and there you go. You successfully installed both antennas. The next step is fairly simple. All you have to do is plug the included AC adapter into the back of the device. You will skip this step if you are doing power over Ethernet, which is not covered in this video. And yes, you do have to read the instructions for this, but don't worry, it's just the quick start guide in which you can find the default IP address and default wireless SSID. Once you have found the default SSID, you can go into your wireless settings and select it from your list of networks. Keep in mind you will not have internet access right away after connecting to this network. You will have to set the device up first. Once connected, you will be prompted to select which type of network you wish to connect as. Then, simply head into your favorite web browser. I'm using Firefox. Use whatever you'd like. Recall the default IP address from your handy dandy quick start guide and enter that in the URL bar. Once you have done this and hit enter, you will be prompted with a window asking for a username and password. For this device, the default is both admin. That's for the username and the password. Now you have successfully reached the settings menu. Give yourself a nice pat on the back. You did it. Click next and you will find yourself at the device setup page. Here you can enter the SSID and the password for your new wireless network. If you're using this as an access point like shown in the video, I recommend having DHCP turned off. This will prevent an IP address from being assigned twice. Once you've done this, I always recommend having the highest level of security possible to prevent unauthorized access to your new wireless network. Once you've set up the device to your liking, you will be prompted with a window that has some information on it, including the device's IP address on the network, your wireless SSID, and password. You will want to write as much of this information down as possible, as you will need it to access the access points settings in the future. If you do not write this down or lose the paper it is written on, you may have to do a factory reset to get back into the settings of the access point. Once you click next, you will come to this window that says configuration completed successfully, restarting. Good job, you've set up the device. Once the device has restarted, it is now time to plug the cord coming from your main router into the device. When doing this, be sure to position the RJ45 connector correctly and make sure it is in there firmly. Also be sure to leave enough slack on the wire to move it around a bit. On the front of the device, make sure both the wireless and ethernet lights are blinking, and now you are free to connect to your new wireless network. The final step is to open up your web browser and enter the URL of your favorite website. In this case, we do YouTube, and as you can see, the page loads up just fine. This means that the device has been set up successfully and you have internet access. You have now successfully set up your TP-Link wireless and access point. That's all for today guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe as a review of the unit is coming very soon.